Hi, I'm Peter Edwards from Blue Tutors. Um, we teach children of all ages, um, right from primary school to degree level, and we find the highest quality tutors. Um, and today, I'm going to teach you some maths. We're now going to look at how to teach algebra. Um, so this is something which obviously many students are confused by. I think we probably all know people who have said, oh, as soon as they started introducing X's and Y's, I didn't like maths and I got very confused. So we're going to try and dispel some of those myths and hopefully as teachers we can really try to help students to realise that it's not some kind of magical formula which it, people are incapable of understanding. It really is something which is straightforward and commonsensical. So the first thing I want to look at is a question like this which most children will first see when they're nine or ten years old. Um, it's something that so many students immediately jump out and say, oh, well, that's two. Um, and the thing is that it's obviously two. There's, there's a box, they've got to fill the box in. Um, they understand that. However, as soon as you write five plus x equals seven, suddenly some students are like, oh, I, I don't understand. That confuses me a bit. What we need to do as teachers is relate the two to each other. So if a student is struggling, With that equation, we can simply say, well, what if we write it like this? Does that help you? Um, and most students will say, yes, it does. Uh, it makes it much, much clearer. Um, the next thing to talk about is how to rearrange equations like this. Um, something that which a lot of teachers say when you'll see an equation like this is take five to the other side. Um, now, that really, really doesn't explain what we're doing and it doesn't help children to understand why you're doing what you're doing. We have to remember this is an equation. It's not something where you can take one thing to the other side. That would not stop making it an equation. What we have to say to, to students is, what you want to do here is subtract five from both sides. It's an equation. If we do the same thing to both sides, it will still be an equation. So by subtracting five from both sides, we're left with x equals seven minus five. And that's something which students can understand much, much better. Um, so the, these are two important things. The, f the first one is when students are just starting and what we need to do is communicate what X is and why we're putting it in there. Um, we need to kind of make sure students aren't scared of seeing letters in equations. The next thing is explaining how to manipulate these equations and this really does form the grounding that students need to go on and do higher level maths. If students are looking at this and saying, oh, well, I'm going to take five to the other side and subtract it, of course that will give them the right answer, but with the wrong understanding. We need to explain to them, with something like this, you need to look at that equation and say, I'm going to subtract five from both sides. And then a student will understand that we still have an equation, we're taking the same thing away from both sides. If you can cover those two points, then that will really help students when they're starting to learn algebra. And basically will mean that hopefully later on they really don't stumble over equations as much as maybe they would had they not got that basic understanding at the start. Um, and that is how to teach algebra. 